What is up guys? Today's video is a continuation of my quick guide series and today's subject is Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball, just like Sigma, is a hybrid tank which means he's an off tank while being able to act as another role. In this case, the roles he's able to fill are main and off tank. Wrecking Ball is a mobile tank with primarily movement based abilities. If you at any point are lacking what you're seeing, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe because the watch time ratio is very skewed. Also make sure to stop by my stream and hang out, the link is in the description. Anyways, let's get on to the video. First off we have quad cannons. Quad cannons are Wrecking Ball's primary fire and there are too many guns that deal 2.5 to 5 damage per shot with 80 ammo. The first two shots you fire are pure hit scan and every shot in continuation have a random spread. You automatically reload when you are in your roll ability when 2.1 seconds pass. Roll is an ability that transforms Wrecking Ball into a ball with increased movement speed. Your speed is the same in any direction you go and you are able to also cast the ability midair. When you are going downhill you go even faster but if you are going uphill you don't lose any of your speed. Lastly, if you are hacked, slept or pinned you automatically come out of the ball form. Grappling Claw is the ability to latch onto a wall and swing in any direction. If you collide with an enemy at full speed, you deal 50 damage and they are knocked back. You also automatically turn to a ball if you activate Grappling Claw. Adaptive Shield is where Wrecking Ball gains additional shields depending on how many enemies are nearby. You gain 100 shields from each enemy that is near you. If there aren't any enemies around you, you still will gain 100 shields automatically. Pyro Driver or Slam is the ability where Wrecking Ball slams from a high level, dealing up to 20 to 100 damage. Upon slamming, any enemy contacted will launch upwards towards the center of the slam for 0.5 seconds. A good tip about Pyro Driver is that you don't have to be in a super high area to activate it. You can activate it by walking or rolling off of an area that has a steep decline near it. Minefield is Wrecking Ball's ultimate and there are proximity mines that spread out in a circular shape with 130 damage per mine. It lasts 20 seconds and it has 50 health for each mine. If you activate your ultimate in midair, the spread of the mines are increased. Also, the mines can stick to any surface and that includes walls and ceilings. The closer you are to enemy mines, a high pitch of noise will increase. Minefield also destroys deployables such as Immortality Field and Supercharger. Lastly, you are able to gain ultimate charge while the mines are deployed. Wrecking Ball is a 3 star hero that isn't easy to master, so I'm going to state some quick useful tips. The first tip is that because his damage is so low, you have to use your primary fire primarily to finish off low health targets because the quad cannons don't do much damage. Secondly, because Hammond's damage isn't so great, make sure to punch and shoot to get kills even faster. Lastly, three things to focus on as Hammond are to finish off low HP targets, to ignore enemies with large health pools like Wrecking Ball also and Roadhog, and the third thing to focus on is to ignore shields unless they're already low. If you have any extra questions, then make sure to leave a comment and make sure to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitch and hang out. Remember, stay grinding, don't give up, and take care.